Hello again. Welcome to another shave with me, I guess. I don't know. I never know how to start these things. I don't really have like a catchphrase. So we're using uh, PAA CK6. Look how sexy that brush looks right now. Um, fresco today, because I am borrowing a razor from my fellow groomsman Christian, who asked me, or I asked him what I should use, and he said I should use fresco. Inside joke, maybe I'll talk about that during the shave here, but let's get it on the face. Mm -mm -mm. Today, I'm gonna be using the Razor Rock. Razor Rock, I always wanna call it Razor Rock. Now that I'm actually saying it out loud in the video, Razor Rock. Duh, dumbass. Uh, GC, which is Game Changer, 0.84. So, which I believe is in reference to the blade gap, is the 8.4 part. Now, I've not used it yet. I've not used any razor rock. Razors yet, but I have been curious about the handle. So Christian sent me his and it has the barber pole handle, which is usually it's sold out. It's a fairly popular one. So I actually did try it on my Mula R41 and was impressed enough to order a handle, but I actually went with the UFO handle. One, because it was in stock where I was buying it, and two, I actually do like it just a smidge better than this beast right here. Don't ask me why, I thought the barber pole would be a done deal, so I'm glad that I tried the, the UFO. But, gonna be rocking a second use um, Dorco Titan. So just looking at the razor here, if you can see in there, it says Razor Rock, made in Canada, and has the serial numbers and everything on there to tell you what you're working with. Closed comb here. So that's straight bar, whatever you want to call it. So let's go. Oh yeah, okay. So Razor Rock is, I believe, the property of Italian Barber. I know you can get Razor Rock products at places like the Razor Company, which is where I got my handle. So I guess Italian Barber doesn't have issues with sending their products out, but um, I don't know. I mean, this razor's intrigued me for a while, but it's the same in the same way that I I didn't I went right from the um, Maggard's, you know, V3, V3A with their stock handles to vintage, you know, the slim and fat boy and uh, then a Rockwell success. So I skipped over the Razor Rocks and the DE89s and the, the Mercure 34Cs and, you know, all that stuff but so I've kind of been looking at getting a razor rock game changer it's a bit of a lateral move I guess but so far this is a smooth razor obviously we're on the with the grain and as Christian likes to say you can't really judge a razor just from the first pass so I shan't do that. But so far, this is a very smooth razor. I've heard that the Lupo is even smoother and maybe even more efficient. I don't know, there's a lot of different razor rocks. We're not gonna talk about that today. I'm not really an aficionado anyways. But it's Tuesday morning and I hadn't shaved since Sunday, so 
I mean, that's fine. It's no R41. It's no metaphor in terms of how much it just eliminated, but it's definitely a comfortable razor. Yeah, even with buffing like that, that's... So, gonna put a bookmark right there. So why Fresco? Okay, yeah, there you go. So Christian, he's an interesting guy when it comes to scent. Cause he's like, yeah, man, I don't, I don't like musks or lavender and all this other stuff. So of course he was like r really into Fresco, which has like a lot of that going on in it. And he was looking for one, and I actually have one that I, I like Fresco, and actually earned it, I guess. If you don't know, PAA has a rule that I didn't know about when I did it, but if you can get someone local or whoever to start carrying their products, um, and tell Doug, you win a free set and a t-shirt. So I got Fresco last year after I got a local... place to pick up PAA. And I just told Doug thinking, you know, I was still relatively new to getting back into wet shaving. So I was just excited. I was like, hey, look at, finally a place I can buy some decent stuff. And he was like, all right, what do you want? And I'm like, uh, anyways, so we're here. But anyways, Christian was looking for a fresco. And sometimes I, my thumbs are faster than my brain and my mouth faster than my brain, and lots of other things. I'm sure a few of you can probably relate. And I was like, hey man, I'll, I'll send you the, the fresco set I have for chipping. And he was like, oh yeah, man, that'd be great. And then I was like, mm, let me use it one more time, and this is the one more time. Well, but I did fix that situation. I did help him locate and get his hands on a set for himself, but yeah. All right. So, can you hear all that? Definitely gonna have to go against here. I mean, we're always gonna do multiple passes, but I mean, in the last week I've used the, the metaphor from PAA, which, if you can find one for around 50 bucks used in good condition or less than, I would say jump on that. That might be the best razor for the money. At 70 bucks new, I don't know if I'd, I don't know, it's a good razor, don't get me wrong. I'm just trying to figure out why it's 70 bucks. But, and this isn't me being like, Doug's raising prices or anything, it's been that way, but just, I'm, I feel like there's less material involved than an Ascension, yet an Ascension's coming in at like 45, and the metaphor must, be a lot more complicated to get machined and everything wherever he does it because it's more expensive but i personally think the metaphor is a lot better than the ascension it's but there is a video about the metaphor and then i was using the mula so is it taking off as much hair as either of those two razors no Do I think that means it's a bad option or a bad razor? No. I have a coarser, thicker, in places, beard growth than some. So I do prefer blade feel, just because I like to feel the job being done, and I do like more aggressive razors. So, I don't think, we'll see how it goes with a subsequent pass or two here, but right out of the gates, I'm not looking to go pick up a game changer. And that's the nice thing about borrowing razors, you know? Like if I bought a brand new or gently used metaphor, I would have been pleasantly surprised and happy, but I probably wouldn't have anteed up to pull the trigger just based on my personal preferences with the Ascension. But to get your hands on um, a lot of these razors, whether they're vintage or modern. You know, I've used the Brass Bird from Fayez, 
the metaphors from Jonathan, the game changers from um, Christian. I've used countless vintage razors from Scott. And those are just guys that are in my own channel, but there's a lot of people in the community that don't mind doing pass arounds. I mean, I got to try a car of Christopher Bradley a few months back. Found out it wasn't for me. Glad that I got to try it before you buy it. And a lot of these places you can buy it and you have a 30 day return policy, depending on if you get it from the company or you buy it from a distributor. In fact, I am in the process of working with Leaf to try to return the twig razor I got my father for his birthday that didn't beat the Rockwell, but then again, my dad has a tendency to use Harry's when he's in a hurry. So, if you're gonna do it, do it. I'm not gonna criticize him, but I was tempted to give the twig a go for myself before I return it, but really, I just wanna get it packed up. Knowing me, I drag my feet on these things, so I got the email out first thing yesterday morning. Yeah, I mean, this is fine. Definitely not as smooth on the against the grain, which you're gonna expect. Most razors are, it's doing fine. It's doing fine. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna run out and grab it. Like I did the handle, the handle is sick. That uh, first shave with the R41 with that handle on it was like seriously one of the best shaves of my life. Like if I hadn't used the R41 so often on the channel already, I would have recorded it, but it was just a great shave. Like absolutely amazing shave. What else is going on? I mean, it's it's good. It's good. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not gonna. I'm not here crapping on Razor Rock, and I'm not comparing it to a you know a Blackbird or anything. I think considering these come in around the same price, I think as like a PA metaphor, which is a smoother shaver thus far, and not to mention a more efficient shaver, I would rather spend that 70 some dollars on, on that. So, but that being said, if you're just into collecting razors, you don't need a super aggressive or efficient shaver, but you want one that's still nice and smooth and you want to step up from, you know, if you started with like a Bali from like the Sterling kit or even, you know, the V3, from Maggards. I haven't used that in a while. I need to start dusting that thing off and bringing it out. Especially the V3A, but... I mean, you can give it a go. They're always, they're always for sale, and there's always people buying them. So, I don't know if I'd buy a new one, but if you can get one used or borrow one, go for it. That's what you got to lose. You can almost always turn that around, because there's always somebody that's going to take that next step up into their razor experience. So I don't know if it's just a little too late, you know, have I seen too much in terms of the razor world? Yeah. Gonna need some touch-ups for sure, more than usual maybe even. Decide how we wanna do that. So yeah, I find it to be um, on the mild side of medium razor. Um, it, it'll do you. I mean, like it's not like it's missing patches of hair or something here, you know, my face is, is shaved right here, but it's not to the, the aggressiveness that I like. It doesn't have the blade feel that I prefer. 
with my razor. So I'm gonna do a couple touch-ups and come back and give reiterate probably those same final thoughts. So unless something amazing happens off camera here, uh, you know, I'm gonna probably stick to what I just said. Let me gather myself here for a second before I give final thoughts. So I actually decided to do a full third pass, which breaks my rules. I try to do, you know, a two pass Tuesday, and then if I don't get to shave the rest of the week, that's fine, because someday I'll do whatever I gotta do, you know, depending on how much growth there is. Um, so there's only, what, two days worth, day and a half worth of growth, growth, growth. But I would, for my face, It's a bit of a of a shave chaser, if you will, where like it's mild enough that you could probably talk yourself into doing a fourth pass, uh, which would probably, in my case at least, lead to overshaving with it and some irritation. And honestly, I know myself well enough to know even if I had enough lather here, I did if I did a fourth pass, that's what would happen to me. I would get overshave. I would would upset my skin. And I would um, be sad about it. Um, Sack likes four pass shaves. I don't know if that's three in touch ups or what he does. And I haven't seen one of his videos in a good long while to know. Um, but so this could be a great razor for someone like him who likes to have something. that he can do that with four passes. Me, I used to be, <clears throat> alcohol always makes me cough. I used to be a three pass shaver when I would shave every time. Now, like I said, I try to do these two pass Tuesdays, which I couldn't pull off the two pass Tuesday. And that was with after having used the uh, R41 to Shave off, I don't know how many days worth of growth on Sunday, but it, it just, two, two went out, baby. So, I think if you're newer to shaving, um, and you don't have, you know, if you, if you already have, like, a, you know, the Mercury 34C or the D89, and I know I haven't used them, so I probably can't, you know, make this claim without this caveat, but I think just based on the reputations of those razors, you probably don't need to get this razor. I don't know that this would be the next step that I would go, but if you are using like a Parker or something or other, or, a, you know, a Vander Hagen, Hagen, Lynn Hagen, Lynn Hagen, whatever, or something like that, Gillette, you know, King C, something you got at like a grocery store or something, I think Razor Rock is a great place to go next. For a decent price especially because they're always for sale used they're always available i mean you don't have to buy them new they're someone's always moving one it's kind of like wolfman where i'm just kind of like why every time i see a wolfman someone is selling it i never see i feel like i see shave of the day pictures with wolfman razors but that's another story so is it a game changer for me no could it be a game changer for somebody who um you know, started with like a grocery store razor or something or a cheaper razor or, you know, a less renowned razor like that. Yeah, probably. It does make me curious about the Lupo because I'm almost there. I mean, this is fine, but it's not as good as, you know, the red tip, the R41, even for me, the 6S on plate four. So if you're already past this razor, I don't know that I would necessarily, you know, if you can get a great deal on it, maybe backtrack. But I don't think you have to. I don't think not having this razor in your collection is, like, going to ruin your life. Um, so I'm I'm right in the middle. Like, it's fine. It's fine. It's better for someone else. It's fine for me. It's probably great for some. It's probably terrible for a lot of people, which is why they're always for sale. Once you know what you prefer in terms of blade feel and efficiency and everything. But, yeah. That's my thoughts on it. All right. Well... Uh, thank you for checking this video out whenever it goes up, and I hope that you are doing well and 
comment and subscribe and like and interact with us however you want. Uh, we just got past the 330 mark for subscribers, which is great. So we're looking to get to 400 and maybe if we get to 350, we'll have to start thinking up a good 400 subscriber giveaway. All right, as always, we'll see you next time.